When I was 19, I was like, my dream is literally to go to Vegas and have a really, really hot girl just like snort coke off of my dick. Like that was my dream. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jen here. And in today's video, what I want to talk to you about is verbal escalation with a little bit of self-amusement in there. Okay? So a lot of guys are actually pretty good at you know carrying on a neutral interaction where it's very friend to friend. Um, you're talking about something that is very platonic with a girl, but it doesn't lead anywhere. Okay? So a lot of guys have no problems going up to a girl and just having a cool conversation, but it doesn't get sexual. Okay, so you don't know whether the girl is actually down for you or not. So what I'm going to talk to you about is how to verbally escalate. Okay, I'm going to give you three ways that you can add verbal escalation to your game and basically see if the girl is interested and sexually interested in you. Okay, now number one is you want to add in a little bit of self-amusement. So in this in-field video that I've put in, 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 into this video here, I've actually filmed this video about a year and a half ago, and I've only shown this video on all of my live programs. Okay, so it's not on YouTube. I'm gonna put it out, I'm gonna release it out right now so that you can see this. It's a full on day game poll that I pulled a girl that I just met in the middle of the mall back to my house in literally like 12 minutes, okay? So in this video, I've done minimal physical escalation, a lot of it just verbal, okay? A lot of it is like verbal sexual things that I talk about that I say to kind of screen the girl to see if she's interested or she's down, okay? And eventually, once I find out that she was interested, she was down, through my verbal escalation, I kind of just let the interaction just pulled. So the first thing that you wanna do is add in a bit of self-amusement in there to make it fun for yourself, okay? So what self-amusement really is, is either talking about or doing something that is a joke in which you find funny. Okay, it's not serious at all. Self-amusement is not serious. It's something like you're you're basically just clowning. It's like when you're hanging out with your buddies where you feel free, you're not, um, you don't give a shit about what people think, so you don't give a shit about being judged. You're just purely putting it out there um, in a form of expression in which you find funny. Okay, like it's an absolute joke of just like making yourself laugh. That's what self-amusement really is. So the first thing you do is you basically Add in the self-amusement and verbal escalation where instead of talking about something neutral, you would go into something kind of sexual, but making it funny. It's like a joke, okay? If it's serious, you fucked up. If the girl thinks you're serious, um, if the girl thinks whatever you say to her, it's like, oh shit, like he, he actually mean it, like he, it's serious, you fucked up, okay? It's gotta be like a joke. So the example of how you would do that, of what you see in this video, is I literally walked up to a girl um, in the middle of the mall and 30 seconds into the interaction, I tell her that my dream, okay, when I was 21 years old, is to have a really hot girl like snort coke off my dick. Okay, like to me, I actually, it, this was straight up from a TV show called uh, Californication, where, um, you know, they were talking about like girls snorting coke off their dicks, and I just like, that just came to my mind, and I was like, fuck it, I was gonna say it to her because it's funny. And I just like, you know, talked about like how I had a girl snort coke off my dick in Vegas, okay? And obviously it was a fucking joke, like it was, it was just straight clowning. And instead, so when you do something like that, the girl will generally have, you know, one of the two reactions. One is obviously they freak out, they judge you, and they're like, oh my God, like, why would you say that? Like, that's so inappropriate, like, holy shit. And the second reaction is the girl will find that funny and like laugh with you. So if it's in the second case where you brought up something sexual, okay, and she finds it funny, she's laughing with you, then you know that she is into you. Okay, she's interested, she is sexually interested in you and she'd be down, okay? Now obviously, if you see something like that and a girl freaks out, it just means you're not on the same page, okay? Or it's a little too much, so you, get, so you can pull back, okay? Hey, excuse me, excuse me, quick question. Uh, do you live here? Yeah. Okay, do you know where's like the closest Starbucks? Starbucks? It's very close to To here? Yeah. I don't actually care, I just thought you were Pretty cute, I want to say hi. As I'm holding the Starbucks in my hand. Ryan. Are you tall? Like Wait, let's see. And you're waiting for your mother? My friends are bailing on me, so I was gonna go 
How does it feel? Getting ditched. Well, like a little dog. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But no, like, I'm actually, uh, I'm not from here. I just got back here. Okay, mm -hmm. Originally? China. Just the Chinese kid trying to make it big in Canada. My American dream, Jada White Girl. That's why I'm approaching. Is he a real hair color? Cool, so you're actually a redhead. Nice. Is it true what they say about redheads? Or at least most things? Most things, sure. I mean, you do seem like a nice person, but I'm sure you're feisty too, but what would you say? I'd say you're 25. Tell me you are 25. Older? Oh, okay, that's good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm 25. It's so young. Drink? Do you drink? Yes. Do you smoke? Yes. Do you do drugs? Yes. What kind of drugs? <laughs> you just you just assume that I you just assume that I okay I'll tell you what my my dream when I was 21 mm -hmm. when I was your age actually I went to Vegas and uh, when I was 19 I was like my dream is literally to go to Vegas and have a really really hot girl just like short coke off of my dick like that was my dream so when I was 21 I went to Vegas unfortunately I had to pay for it it wasn't like authentic. I'm sure she didn't even like me, she just wanted my money and just like snorted coke off my dick. But uh, she paid for the coke. <laughs> yeah. It's fair. Mm. Do you live here or no? Yeah. Okay. I just moved downtown, it's kind of like in my morning, I got a coffee. How do you feel about hanging out with me for five minutes? Because you were ditched. It's more like I'll just kind of just encounter our lives cross path and uh, we'll have an adventure. And do what? I don't know, get to know me for five minutes. If it sucks, you can leave and walk away. Nothing ever happens. Mm, five minutes, sure. Did you buy all this? Yep. Interesting. Um, yeah, at least walk with me. Now, the second way to verbally escalate is using exaggeration. Okay, now this is really, really good because it's... Exaggeration is so extreme that whoever you're saying this to, they know it's not real. Like they know you're just fucking around, you're just kidding, okay? So how exaggeration works is you're creating a hypothetical scenario uh, to the girl, and this is probably like a few minutes into the interaction. You're creating a hypothetical scenario in which it's sexual. Uh, it's a little bit funny, and it's not serious at all, but it gets her thinking about sex, okay? It's one of the best ways to bring it up. So an example of this is, you know, let's say you talk to a girl in the nightclub or you talk to a girl like uh, at some party and a few minutes in, you're just like, you know what? One day we're going to get married, have a couple of kids, fuck your brains out, fly to Vegas, divorce you, take half your money and uh, call it a day. Okay, so something like that, like super extreme, just fucking hilarious. And you're creating a hypothetical scenario that she knows it is not real. Okay, so in that case, when you say something like that, if the girl laughs at it, like she's like, okay, like you, you, you know that she's into you and she's interested and it's just all jokes. But if the girl thinks like, oh my God, like what are you saying? Like it's inappropriate. It means that like, you know, you still got some work to do. Like you know, she's not like sexually into you yet or maybe she's not interested at all. Okay, so it's also another great way to screen them out is by using exaggeration. Now the third way to verbally escalate is by you asking questions that kind of goes up in terms of um, how sexual it gets. Okay, so it goes up like a ladder almost. So the third way to do it is, let's say when you first approach a girl, you might ask a question like, oh, like, do you know where Starbucks? Okay, something very neutral, something very friendly. And then to something like, oh, um, do you party? Do you do drugs? Do you drink? Okay, so basically like what I've asked that girl in the video about, you know, does she do drugs? Does she smoke? Does she drink? Blah, blah, blah. So something that's more, a little bit more intense. And then eventually getting up to like, oh, like, have you ever dated an Asian guy? Okay, like, have you ever slept with an Asian guy? When was the last time you had a, you had a kiss? Okay, or when was the first time you lost your virginity? So when you ask a questions like that, you're actually escalating. You're making her thinking about, you know, sex and what you're asking versus like in the beginning when you're talking about something very neutral. Okay, so questions is also another very good way to escalate verbally, but keep in mind to never ask multiple questions in a row because you go into like this interview mode. So what you wanna do is you kinda wanna like talk to her, joke around a little bit. Okay, so let's say you start with something very neutral. You joke around a little bit. After a while, you boom, 
ask a question that's a little bit more intense. And then after she answers you, you know, just talk about that. Like whatever she says, say what's on your mind, you know, carry on the conversation. 10, 20 seconds later, boom, ask another question that is a little bit more intense than that, okay, even more sexual than that. And um, just, just kind of see how she responds. And if she answers you, if she answers you and she complies, it means she's interested. Okay, it means like she's more compliant to your verbal escalation. In which case, in my, to me, it's always like she's sexually interested. Okay, and you can basically carry on and move on the interaction, even basically pull her. So what you've seen in my infield video is you've seen me pretty much doing verbal escalation throughout from the very beginning. Okay, so when I first approached her, you know, asking something very neutral like, oh, do you know where Starbucks? Okay, and joke around for a little bit, talk to her, find out logistics, and then eventually verbally escalate, you know, talking about starting coke off my dick, and uh, does she do drugs, does she party, does she drink, whatever, um, has she ever been with an Asian guy, blah, blah, blah. And because she's so compliant verbally to all those things and like find it fun and, and interesting, like actually laugh about it, that I was able to like realize like, bing, like she's hooked, okay? Like she's actually like sexually hooked. I can actually basically pull her right now to adventure and come hang out with me and eventually basically just let her and pull her back to my place, okay? So the next time you go out, make sure you implement verbal escalation to your game. It's one of the best ways, it's one of the best ways to find out if a girl really is sexually interested in you or not. Okay, without even touching her. Like you don't even have to touch a girl at all. And you can just kind of find out through, you know, your verbal game, all right? On that note, make sure you like my video. If you love my content, if you want, to, if you want me to keep putting out videos, make sure you like my videos and subscribe, okay? Until next time.